killer mode that's the mode we will enter for the next 15 days exactly 15 days starting from 28th december we have 15 days left for the upcoming fmge which is on january 12th turn on the killer mode and do whatever i say in this video even if you are in the region of 120 130 140 150 160 also if you want to go higher if you follow what i say exactly no one can stop you from clearing this exam on january 12th join our telegram group username is on the screen because that's where we will be doing this and during these final days everything you need to clear this exam like suggestions tips questions mcqs pyqs discussion accountability support you will be getting there so join now for more important and valuable videos and information subscribe to our youtube channel connect earphones and listen to this audio till end so let's start so 15 days left right this is the time for doing revision and solving only important questions and questions that are high yield like previous year questions in that also you have to be selective like doing questions of subjects that you didn't do so far or else subjects that you are weak on if you feel that you have much more lesser time then do custom module of previous year questions select uh, like some 50 to 100 previous year questions and finish them every day so now i will be telling you what i want you to do for the next 15 days this is a generalized plan that i am sharing right now which suits for everyone because thousands of students are going to watch this video and this should suit all of them so coming to the point we have 15 days i believe not every subject is your weak subject you will surely have some strong subjects and some weak subjects this is the time to work on your weak subjects particularly if they are major subjects like surgery psm obgy and medicine you should not miss this time to work on them so how i want you to plan your schedule for the next 15 days is take your most weakest subjects then start working on them for next four days to one week it could be any subject the days you have to give for your weak subjects is decided by the marks it is going to provide for you so i will tell you an average time you can give for each subject i am saying this is like a generalized idea the reason i am telling you these timings is so that if you are planning yourself you can plan exact schedule based on the subject i can say like this also like on 28th study this subject 29th this subject and can give you schedules like i used to give in the beginning but uh, that is beginning of our preparation most of us start in the same boat but uh, with the challenges we face in our own journey you, we have to follow our own way but our aim must be to reach the goal that's the most important thing so let's proceed of the timings for each subject first i will say about the timings you can give if you followed rapid revision next i will say timings if you followed more concise content like chanting race videos shoot shot 150 btr so first for rapid revision for surgery you can give around 1.5 day medicine also 1.5 day psm and obgy one day and all short subjects and physiology just give half day and all other nine subjects like uh, anatomy pathology pharmacology micro biochemistry ent ophthalmology forensic medicine pediatrics you can give one day now if you did solely from btr or any short concise content or maybe you did mixed way of studying using rapid revision some only pyq explanation or btr or short sure shot 150 like mixing everything like me you can follow this way give half day for surgery psm obgy and one day for medicine for all other subjects two to three hours is enough according to me if you are following concise content see as i said these are your final days and you have to understand your weak subjects and weak areas to follow the way i am saying then only you can give four to seven days for them for example surgery ops gain pediatrics pathology and anesthesia are your weak subjects if surgery and pediatrics you did from rapid revision and other three subjects you did from concise content surgery you can give 1.5 day pediatrics one day and anesthesia and patho just give half day so you should give four days in total that's it i think uh, you all understand this how many days to give for each subject based on their priority and also these timings are for the weak subjects but generally if i say with btr chanting race 150 sure shot 
you should and you can do all 19 subjects revision in 4 to 5 days also like i said in my last video previous video i seriously did in the last two weeks itself i seriously did all 19 subjects revision uh 1.5 times okay most important subjects which are weak for me i did two times all 19 subjects if you take i did 1.5 times okay on an average with rapid revision it will take more time but as i told in my old videos if you circled and marked your weak topics then at this time you can just revise those topics only now once you work on your weak subjects now time to plan your other days like 12th jan is our exam right so you have to work on your weak subjects again before the exam like if it takes 5 days for you to work on them now give only 3 days for them at that time in the end days if it takes 7 days give 4 to 5 days only during the end days for your weak subjects in between days left right like for example you worked on your weak subjects for 6 days from 28th to 2nd january 28 29 30 31st 1 and 2 6 days then you have to revise these same subjects again in the end dates in 4 days only that is coming backwards 11th 10th 9th 8th january these four dates you will revise these subjects again in between dates are left now that are from 3rd january to 7th january during these five days you should revise all other subjects left over okay you worked on weak subjects initially you worked on those weak subjects end and in between you have to work all other remaining subjects so that your weak subjects are covered two times and you can do one time for the subjects you already have hold on through this you can revise all your 19 subjects also and you won't feel that you are missing anything and you will feel more confident before going for the exam every day when you start it could be morning or night if you are studying more time at night or maybe you are waking up early and studying then at that time just before you start turn on killer mode and post your targets let's see what you can do take it as a challenge and finish your targets which you are going to post on our group and also if you already did pyq and read their explanation then don't waste time on them again instead revise the notes well and understand your weak points and work on them don't solve previous year questions or any question like a mechanical robot understand and read them if you find any extra points then add them to your notes so that you don't miss any point This killer mode is going to be a digital record of your effort and success. So let's do this. Killer mode in mind, support through our group, guidance by me, effort and actions by you. We will make sure that we clear the exam this time. Let's do this. Until next video, signing off. Bye.